Hey everybody, I'm back to bring you guys a brand new episode installment of X-Men Legends. And it's going to be brought to you guys by GameAnyone.com. Alright, so we're near the end of this whole mission, but we need to go ahead and finish up on it first. So I can go to the other two missions that are available. So let's go ahead and change teams real fast, and I gotta get back Iceman. Because unfortunately he was killed, or at least knocked out, in the last episode. Shame I have to spend 1800 for him. I was hoping I could have spent 800 for the rest of this whole game and let's play, but I guess screw it. Might as well go ahead and level up each of them too. So let's see. Well, Storm has three points to spin. I'll give, screw it, I'll just give one over here to Buddy. Then I'll give another one over to Buddy as well. Then I'll give the last one over to Strike. Perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and I'll increase her Chain Lightning Strike. Okay, good. Then I'll go ahead and I'll give her Lightning Fairy. And what else can I do and upgrade her? Mm, I guess I can go ahead and I can give her Lightning Fairy again so I can max it out. And everything's over here. Too good? Okay, good. Next up is going to be Rogue. So let's see here. Let's see. There's nothing over there that I want to equip on her for her stuff that she has, her abilities. Let's go ahead and give her Sovereign Smash. Next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and give her... Hmm. I'll go ahead and I'll give one over to Mutant Mastery. There we go. Perfect. Now she's at least near 300 energy points. Okay, next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and give her some points over here for focus. Then I'll give her one over here for agility. Okay, good. Now to go over to Iceman over here. Got three points to spend. I'll give one over to Body. Next I'll give one over to Agility and screw it, I'll go ahead and I'll just balance them out. I can do every single episode when it comes to going in here and controlling the X-Men stats. Alright, last but not least is Gambit over here. So I'll go ahead and I'll just do what y'all think I'm probably going to do. Perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and give him Charge Shuffle. Then I'll also give him... I'll go ahead and I'll give him Staff Master. I'll go ahead and put one in there too. Okay, so I almost forgot about the points of Iceman over here. I'll go ahead and I'll give him Deep Freeze. Next, I'll go ahead and I'll hook him up with a... I'll give him Point Blank Shot, screw it. Because that always has been useful to me. Then I'll give him one for Coast Smash. Alright, everything's done, so let's go ahead and move on. Alright, there should be only just one more ladder we need to destroy in order to move on to the next area. So let's go ahead and get this done. Okay, here comes those GRSO soldiers. Catch you later, dweeb. Let's go ahead and finish off the one over here. You know, I'm going to be doing a lot of editing because of the controls of my controller in the background. I mean, I know some of you don't mind if you hear the sounds of, you know, people pushing controls and such in the background, but... To me, I mean, you know, there's a thing called having too much of something. And just too much of the sounds of those controllers being pressed is just uh, a little unbearable if you ask me. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now with the ladder destroyed, let's go ahead and focus on these GSRO soldiers. Or Gersho soldiers. Oh, you're an ally. Sorry, Storm. Okay, so now that they're all done with. Good, let's go through here now. X. Every Morlock in this city owes you their deepest thanks. No thanks is necessary, Healer. We're just trying to help. But were it not for you, those soldiers would have massacred us. You saved a group of people who not so long ago had taken one of your own as a prisoner. And in appreciation, I would like to give you a gift. That's not the necessary. I insist. Please. Take this. Any idea? Oh, wait, well, here we go, right here. Any idea where we might find Mero? Yes. Mero has returned. She is seeking to persuade even more of our people to leave their home and follow the Brotherhood on their mission of violence. Please talk to her. Try to reason with her. Make her understand that what she is doing is wrong. We'll try, but the Mero can be extremely stubborn. Yes, and that, in part, is why she is such a good leader. Thanks, Hila. My pleasure, X-Men. 
How is stubbornness a good quality trait for being a leader? Doesn't make any sense. Ooh, hello. There's a skill point there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll give it to... Screw it. I'll give it to Storm. Because right. <laughs> we all know what I'm going to use it exactly for. All right. So with that being said, let's go over here now. And once again, there's a loader noting screen of Mero, who looks like she's about to do something very deadly and dangerous. All right, let's go through here and talk to her. Meryl, we need to talk. X-Men, I've had enough of your interference. I will destroy you. Oh, goody. So it looks like we're automatically thrown to another boss battle against Meryl. All right, before I do anything, uh, let me go over here real fast because... I see myself a danger room disc, so I'll go ahead and grab that, which is Challenge Gambit. Okay, let's go back. All right, so once again, you're going to go up against Meryl, and if you haven't watched the part where I faced off against Meryl the first time, let me explain. Meryl is basically going to throw her little spikes and such at you, which can do a few couple of damage. She's also going to have her bodyguards there trying to deliver you damage. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and injure Meryl and knock her out. To the point to where her lieutenants are going to show up. And then you're going to have to take out those lieutenants. Otherwise, they're going to revive her back. And her lieutenants and such. One suggestion I use is basically use your extreme tax to take out the bodyguards quickly without having to deal with them. That way you can focus on Meryl. I would also suggest you go ahead and use Iceman to slow her down too. Because if you've seen from the last part, or the last time I faced off against her, she has a candy of going around a lot. And okay, she's down, so... They're going to show up around here. They're each going to show up in different corners. You want to take them out as soon as you can. Because otherwise, they're just going to go back and then they're going to disappear. You got to restart all over again. Okay, let's go ahead and freeze these guys real fast. Perfect. Okay, good. Bodyguards are down once again, so let's go ahead and focus on Meryl. Let me go ahead and switch to Iceman here so we can freeze her. Oh, come on, I gotta refill up on his energy. I was hoping the game would do that itself instead of me having to do it. Okay, good. As long as she keeps on being slowed down, she can't do much damage to us, which of course we're gonna be a lot more faster to her. Oh god, look at the damage I'm doing to Marrow. Jeez. This is kinda sad, honestly. I mean, there's four X-Men ganging up on just one leader who just basically wants to do what's best for her kind even though she's pretty stubborn but I guess if her past is kind of an excuse especially the type of shit she had to go through thanks to a certain person Gambit yeah, oh god look at all these extreme bars it's not even funny yeah you stop right now we're gonna take you all out so we're not in the mood to deal with you You know, part of me's kind of feeling sorry for her, honestly. Okay. I mean, just look at the way that the X-Men are just taking her down. We're not even going to give her an inch. But, oh well, screw it. Better her than me. So I don't want to have to go for all that rage quit. Alright, she's nearly done for. I'll just get in position. Okay, I should be coming over here. Take out one of Meryl's lieutenants. Perfect, she's done for. Alright, now each time that Meryl gets revived back, she's gonna lose some of her health. Or her health won't truly be fully refilled. Or re refilled. There we go. God, I'm just loving Chain Lightning. This is the greatest ability ever. Okay. You guys come over here real fast. Get her over here. Ouch. Because I want to be right there when the lieutenants come around. Okay, good. She's down. Get over here in a position. Okay, good. Another one of the lieutenants is down. And I think that's all of them. I have to check real fast by taking out Meryl. The battle soon is going to end the second you take out all the lieutenants and then you take out Meryl for the final time, which is going to be right here. You may have won, but you can't stop the Gene Nation. We will prevail. 
Mero, you have to mend this rift with it in your people. It's tearing the Morlock civilization apart. You know nothing about my people, and I've heard enough of your lies. Why are you working with the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood promised to let us help rule over the humans. For the first time in history, the Morlocks will be in charge. We will be the ones who make the laws. We will have control. You sound like the Brotherhood, jeez. The Brotherhood will tell you anything you want to hear, but in the end, they'll give you nothing. How do you know? Uh, cause it's the Brotherhood? Because the Brotherhood is power hungry. You lie. If the Brotherhood was so interested in the Morlocks, why weren't they down here protecting your people from those soldiers? Ooh, good point, game, good point. Gerso soldiers were here? Meryl, think of your people. I made the deal with the Brotherhood so my people would know what it's like to live in the sunshine. Is that their dream or just yours? Mero, most of your people don't want to leave the tunnels. This is the only home they've ever known. Wait, how would you know that, Storm? I mean, every time we try to talk to them, they always wouldn't want to talk to us. What do you know of my people? Or of being oppressed? You live in luxury. You don't stomp around in other people's Ew, okay then. We know plenty about opposition, oppression, intolerance, and hatred aren't limited to certain sections of the world. Meryl, above or below ground, we command our own destiny, and it's up to us to shape it. Yes, they were kidnapping Morlocks. I... I had no idea. I don't want any Morlocks to be hurt. Perhaps... Has gone too far. Well, finally, it has, Meryl. You shouldn't allow the Brotherhood to pull you apart. You sound very much like my old friend Healer. I do miss his counsel. Very well. I will call an end to G Nation and bring peace to my tribe. You made a wise choice, Meryl. Second that. Thank you, X Men, for your patience. Good work, team. I think the Morlocks are going to be all right now, but there's still plenty more we have to do. Let's get out of here. <sighs> I hope Meryl makes the right choices in her life and for the future of her Morlocks. Otherwise, I'm going to have to come back down here and beat her up more. All right, so I got two more missions I need to do. I got to go to Merle Island to stop the Juggernaut, and I got to go over to the New York Riot, or New York to stop the riots. Well, I'm sure the place over at Merle's Island is not that badly damaged I'm I mean we got to worry about a whole bunch of people here in New York is the biggest city in the United States so let's go over here oh shit damn I guess this is what happens when I go into the sewers and deal with the Morlocks first oh god look at the damage done here all right so let's go ahead and hit the characters of course, the extreme power capacity increased for free. We already know that. You know what? I'm going to actually stick with the X-Men I have here right now. I know there's no Cyclops or, you know, Storm, but screw it. It's not like they need. I need the leadership every time I go out there. Well, I kind of do, but screw it. I want to make a challenge for myself. Let's go ahead and focus on increasing the stats. Magma, I haven't used you in a while, so I guess it would be good to use you now. I'll go ahead and I'll balance you out now. Just give me a sec. Perfect. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and max out Fiery Blast. And let's also do Lava Fissure too. Well, and nearly max it out. I want to save up the points. There's also Volcano. Okay, fine. I'll give you that too. And there's Fiery Form. What else can I do for you? Let me go ahead and give you Critical Strike. And I'll give you Mutant Mastery. There we go. Is there anything else I can give you real fast? Mm. Well, it doesn't look like there's nothing else I can give you. Give me a sec, I'm just checking real fast. Alright, screw it, there's nothing for you. Okay, for you, Wolverine, let's go ahead and max you out here. Perfect. And then I'll go ahead, go ahead and level up Assisserate. And I might as well go ahead and do Claw Fury too. 
Next, I'll go ahead and I will increase your critical strike. Let's do that here real fast. I'm probably going to be focusing on, you know, healing factor, sharpness, toughness, mutant mastery, critical strike, and expertise the next time he levels up. Or the following time he levels up, actually. And I actually happen to have gotten you something like, yeah, here, Claws of Rage. Perfect. There we go. And just like that, your attack is over 50. Ooh, I can't wait to use Wolverine's Claws. That's going to be amazing. Okay, now with you down, let's go ahead and move over to Nightcrawler. Haven't used you neither lately. So let's go ahead and max you out a bit. Wait, wait. There we go. Then I'll go ahead and I'll give you Teleport Strike. Let's go ahead and increase that and upgrade it. Then I want to also go ahead and increase your Leap of Faith ability. Because that, that thing will save you one time. Or one day. And let's also go ahead and increase your Acrobotics. There we go. And was there anything else that I got for you that's exclusive to you? No. Okay, never mind then. And last but not least, good old Colossus. So I'll go ahead and I'll just... I'm not really going to do focus much because honestly, although I use a lot of your attacks, mostly your main strength comes out and taking up a beating and giving it back tenfold. And for you, I'll go ahead and I'll increase speed and mastery to the core. And I'll also do knockback as well. And I'll do critical strike. Okay, then everything's looking so fine. All right, everyone, let's do this. So we're back here in New York. We've been here in the first level before and also in the training program too for Magma. Speaking of Magma, things are out of control here. Innocent mutants are under attack. We have to save them. We have to help them get to an ambulance. Why an ambulance, Magma? Oh, I guess that's why. Because of the Sentinels. Just great. Wow, my god, look at the damage we're doing to these Sentinels. Or this Sentinel right here. There's only one Sentinel around, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few in groups soon. I mean, we're late into the game. Of course, difficulty is going to be increased. Alright, so we're going to have to look around for these guys. So let me go ahead and get the map here shown. Perfect. And I can see one of them right across from me. Okay then. Why am I even following that guy? Hey, you leave that civilian alone. That's also a mutant. That could probably destroy the entire world. Uh, what the hell? I didn't even know they finished you off. Oh, that just makes me so mad. Okay, then. These guys... <laughs> honestly, I, I underestimated them. I thought they were going to be pretty easy to street. Hey, what's up there, civilian? Please help me, help me. Follow us, we'll lead you to safety. It's just basically reminding me of the whole sh Arbiter level. Which, honestly, is a, this one here is a lot more easier than the Arbiter level because you don't have a time limit to worry about, but still. Okay, let me go back over to the extraction point. Cannot believe I let Colossus die so easily. Well, not die, but get knocked out. I mean, it seemed like he died. Oh, right. You. Uh, yeah. Just come on, follow me. The ambulance shouldn't be around... I mean, the ambulance should be around here, actually. Uh, let's check the X mark over here. Well... Might as well go ahead and talk to this mean. I mean, I thought that was the ambulance, but I guess not. Let's go ahead and just finish off with these guys real fast. Or this guy here. I always mistake the singular with the plural. I gotta stop doing that. There we go. Come on, Wolverine. Just jump over the fence and get this for me. Thank you. Perfect. Survival 502. I'll go ahead and do that all later. And, of course, I gotta deal with the Sentinel over here. Maybe I should just stick with Wolverine throughout the whole episode. Because it's pretty obvious his claws are doing the most damage to these guys. There we go. Moving on now over here now. 
to where another mutant is over here. Okay, good. Thank God the game allows you to have all these mutants at the same time. Otherwise, this would have been unbearable. Well, I don't think it would have been unbearable, but I'm pretty sure it would have been on the arbiter level. I mean, could you imagine having to do something like that? God, that'd be like so cheap from the game. At least the developers of this game have the 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 fault of doing something like this. All right, so I'm pretty sure the ambulance is over here now. There we go. All right, thanks X Men, you saved my life. No problem, civilian. That looks see exactly like the others. Okay, good. There's two, and the last one over here. Come on, show up, Bar. Thank you, finally. Okay, let's go ahead and deal with this Sentinel right here, and then we can go ahead and move on to the next area. As a matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and now end this episode right as soon as I head over back to the extraction point. Perfect, there we go. Alright then, now with that done, I'll go ahead and now end this episode here right now. Next episode, we're going to keep on stopping the riots and such. Thanks for watching, and be safe. <laughs>